So where would you like to go to Thai? Thai. Uh, where can we go? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Well, the taxi doesn't really move. Sure. Yeah, it doesn't move. But I've had some interesting answers. Somebody said they want to go back to the past about mm. 10 years ago. That's interesting. A lot of people say they want to go home. Mm. It's probably the first thing that came to mind for me. Yeah. It's to go home. Yeah, what would you do when you, when you get in the house? I don't know, I mean, I was only there like two weeks ago, so back in Ireland, I'm thinking. Oh. Um, and it's just a really stressless environment, it's yeah. really nice. I guess because I, like, I don't have a job there, I don't have like responsibilities there, I can kind of go back and just relax. So I would probably just play with my dog a little bit. <laughs> What's your dog's name? Roxy. Roxy, okay. Yeah. Is that a, that's a unisex name, so is that yeah, a boy or a girl? Yeah, it's a girl. Yeah, it's a girl. Yeah, it's a girl. Cute. And where are you from in Ireland? I'm from Kildare, which is a town kind of west of Dublin. Cool, 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 cool. Well, did you hear about the, um, I mean, you must have heard about what happened in Manchester not long ago. Yeah, and then um, I also saw a post on Facebook about someone that was stopped uh, just metres away from where the Queen was going to be, like in the next 20 minutes or something like that, yeah, with a yeah. knife. I hadn't heard that. Uh, yeah, I thought of it because um, I have a friend that lives in Manchester. She was like an ex-friend, but now she's a friend again. Mm. Um, we was really close. We used to go out together. She was like my raving partner. Mm. And then one day we had a, a small disagreement that kind of escalated into a big disagreement. And then we stopped talking. And um, when that thing happened in Manchester, I just gave her a text. Mm. And she she amazingly texted me back. And we're back in contact again. It's good. It's really it's good. cool, isn't it? Have it's you ever... A weird good thing to happen out of some things are terrible. Yeah. Have you ever been in a situation like that before yourself? Nothing of that kind of magnitude I would say. You know, I guess there's been some times where I've where something has happened and I've thought, oh well that silly argument I'm having with someone is and then you can kind of you can ignore all that kind of anger and just patch things up a bit, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I, I was um definitely angry at the time and I usually have these play doll oh, plasticine. Yeah. You have that one in my car. And I play, I just play with them. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It makes, and it can be therapeutic as well. The smell of it reminds me of being a kid. Mm, yeah. The smell of Play-Doh. Yeah. If I smell it too much, I'll probably want to eat it. Because <laughs> that's what I used to do when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's got a lovely salty taste to it. Yeah, I think you can eat it. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess they make like it safe flour for kids. And... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I was so angry when I was having the disagreement with my friend, as you know, as I would be. And, um... I suppose if anger had a shape, it would look something yeah. like this. Yeah, I can see that. What about you? Can you make a shape that might represent anger? Mm. I mean, I know it's not. Maybe, yeah. Maybe something that's... It's kind of lumpy and unknowable and doesn't make any sense. Um, isn't rational. Messy. Yeah, messy. I quite liked your one because it almost looked like a uh, hand grenade. Oh, it's really okay. kind of like violence. Blow it up. The thing about. Did you do one? Did you do one? It was um, kind of. <laughs> just yeah, play with it. Messy. You just can't help but just touch, touch <laughs> and play with it. The thing about um, the plasticine and, and I suppose anger, I mean, that, I don't know. It can, it's not easy. But you can change it. You don't have to stay. You don't have to stay angry. Yeah. So this is my happiness. This is what represents happiness for me. Love. Mm -hmm. Anything I love, I am. I am happy when I'm doing it. When I'm seeing it, or whatever it is. Yeah. Eating food. Being my kids. Mm -hmm. What makes you happy? What makes me happy? Um, culture. You know, like reading, watching films. Um, spending any time with my partner at all it's, it makes me happy we can be doing anything um, and that's a good time for me um, friends uh, yeah and I guess even sometimes in work you know um, a lot of times in work I get to do a lot of interesting and valuable things and I guess that's a big part of happiness is kind of feeling value in what you do I guess. Uh, yeah. what, what is it that you do? Uh, so I work at UCL and my job is to get uh, researchers talking to members of the public in different groups and involving them in their work. Um, so there's potential to make changes in the world with that kind of work, which is 
Nice. You feel hot in here? I feel actually okay. Unless I actually need to okay? turn up the fan. Um, I'm not too bad. <laughs> 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 I only look at the passenger of the crowd. No, of course. Yeah, well, you don't look over here. Thank you. Well, okay, what, when you were younger, what was your dream career? Oh, uh, when I was younger, what was my dream career? I think my dream career was probably something really boring. It was pretty like something um, really that didn't tax my brain too much. That was just something I could come in and do and then leave and not really think too much about it. And then I guess as I got older, I, I realized how bored that kind of thing would make me. Um, yeah. And so my dream changed quite a bit. I didn't really have these dreams of being like an astronaut or anything really exciting. Yeah. I had more dreams of being free from work than doing an interesting job. I guess that's kind of changed it. How about you? When I was younger, I wanted to be a singer. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely a famous singer on television. And, and now that I've grown um, older and more wise, I'm not interested in that type of lifestyle. I don't want yeah. to be famous. Now I'm realising how difficult it can be to be famous and not really have your own privacy and so yeah. forth. So um, I'm doing well at the still moment. Singing. I am still singing all the time in my house and stuff like that, but I'm very much open to collaborating and using my voice in in the future with my yeah with my practice. I'm that's totally really down for it. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Maybe that's like the most important thing. You don't have to have all that fame and fortune from doing something but if you've got the connection to it and it makes you happy yeah to do. absolutely so if you had the opportunity to say something to your let me see 14 year old self what might you say to him um any good advice see. for him yeah um i guess the advice would probably be to relax a bit relax. <laughs> um, and, and i guess trust in um, the natural, um, we're trusting the fact that things will probably just be fine, and they don't, they don't need so much tension or so much thinking, and, and that could allow fourteen-year-old Ty to maybe enjoy it a bit more. So just chill yeah. out a bit, I guess. <laughs> Everything's gonna be <laughs> alright. Who sings that song? Alicia Keys? Yeah, you know it sounds about right. No. Yeah. <laughs> if I could just go back to 14 year old Ty and sing that to him. Uh, <laughs> that would change. Except I can't sing. So. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about if you had no fear? If you had no fear, what would you do? What's the first thing you do when you, when you leave my car or tomorrow Whoa. morning when you wake up? If I had no fear? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh. Uh, probably run away with my girlfriend and find somewhere free from everyone and everything and then just spend all our money and then figure out what happens after that. Oh, that's so cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that'd be good. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, you know, when uh, I quit my job next week, you know, I think you might be <laughs> taking some of the blame. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Well, what's your next big plan apart from running away? No joking. <laughs> and quitting your job. My next big plan? Well, we've got some like nice holidays and stuff coming up. We're, um, we're going to take a road trip to Ireland, which is going to be good. We're going to go for like two weeks and just drive around and see how things go. Um, and then, so my girlfriend's Canadian, she's here. We've got like an a EU partnership visa because I'm an EU citizen. Which okay. means that we're planning to be in London for probably another three years, and then after that, we'll figure out what we want to do. We might move to Canada, we might move to Ireland, think about maybe moving to Spain. So we've got some options, which is nice. That's, that's really cool, actually. Yeah. Really which is your like first choice? Yeah, I don't know. I think I quite like to live in Montreal, in Vancouver. Um, okay. But my French is terrible, and they kind of all speak French though. Okay. So that would be an issue. And my Spanish is probably worse than my French. So we might have to find somewhere a bit more English speaking or I'll have to learn a bit of another language. So. Just pick the, the tourist spot. Yeah, that would pretty be it. Most yeah. of the like British and American people are living, there's always a, a little tourist spot. That's true. In most of the places I've well mm. a few of the places I've like Berlin. Well, a lot of people speak English in Berlin yeah, anyway. That's right, yeah. Um in Portugal, in Algarve, mm. where I stay, stayed there, I, my partner's Portuguese and he was saying, oh my gosh, there's a lot of English people here. Right, yeah, and sense. they actually just move over there and live there as well, so yeah. it's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I'm not charging 
anybody for my taxi ride because we, we actually don't really go anywhere anyway but um i let i wanted to let you know that you're just you're one in seven billion people you're very unique you're obviously well loved by your girlfriend and i know your dog misses you right now <laughs> she's like oh my gosh when is he coming home even though it was just a week ago and um my yeah my payment i suppose would be to just go for your dreams with which you're kind of already doing you're on the the correct pathway and if you did break up with someone in friendship many years ago don't be afraid um to reconnect with them actually don't be afraid of anything it's never too late because albert einstein okay i started with albert einstein he was 36 when he made the relative um theory yeah he was quite old and then you've got um martin luther king that did his whole speech I had a dream sure. he was around the same age mm. and Neil Armstrong was 38 when he walked on the moon so you know you got 10 years on there was pretty good so you're you, you, you're very young how old are you? I'm 29 oh that's so sweet <laughs> no I'm 31 so there's not much difference no we're the same age no, you're so sweet though did you get a chance to do any drawing? I didn't actually because as soon as I got the play doh I was just like all over it. <laughs> it's a bit it. Sorry. Yeah. Me neither. I was I, I, I tried to do some doodling and and maybe some writing mm. but this is all I, I managed to do. It's something for you, it's like a souvenir. Oh thank you, it's really nice. You're welcome. Yeah. I can let you out now. Yeah, let nice, me let really you really out. Nice chat, I appreciate it. Thank you. I hope I didn't Okay, it's short. The other, no. the last person was like, "Oh, it's time to go." Oh, no, no. I mean, the only other, the only thing that I thought Thank about you. it is that we just didn't talk enough about you, but yeah. you know, um, it's all about you. Yeah, it shouldn't be. <laughs> it should be about a conversation. But really nice to meet you. Yeah, and have a little chat. Yeah, it's great. Give me a